Hey guys, my name is Michael Chin, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a squeeze swing trading watch list. This is a watch list for the popular squeeze setup that I teach on this channel. So if you haven't learned that strategy already, I've put a link down below in the description so you can go check that out. Now, if you're interested in learning more about investing and swing trading, please feel free to subscribe to my channel where I'll post the strategies and setups that I use, as well as some of the live trades that I take. Okay, so now we are on the Thinkorswim platform and I am in the scan tab. Here I can build a scan which will help us filter out stocks based on a certain criteria. So the first criteria that we want is we want to make sure that we're first scanning in all of these stocks. So if we hit this, we can hit category, all stocks. So this makes sure that I am scanning across all the stocks out there in all of the markets. Then I want to add a filter to make sure that all of the stocks that show up are in a squeeze. So how we're going to do that is I'm going to hit add filter, then go down to study. Then I'm going to click the study here and I'm going to find the TTM squeeze. And so what we're going to have to do is we're actually have to hit custom, then go down to edit, scroll down to study again right here and then scroll all the way down until we find TTM squeeze. So TTM squeeze is right here and now we have it as our study. Next, I want to be plotting the squeeze alert. So we'll come down here and set plot to squeeze alert. So now we have the TTM squeeze study on the squeeze alert plot. And what I wanna see is that the squeeze alert is currently false, which means that it's in a squeeze. It has the red dots within the last two bars. So let's review this real quick. TTM squeeze study, squeeze alert is false within two bars. So I'll click save here and now it'll show up in our condition wizard. After that, I can hit okay here. Once I verify that this is the correct filter that I want. And then when I hit scan, it's going to bring up all of the stocks that are in a squeeze. But if you look at all of these stocks that show up, there's a lot of junk in here. Some of these are untradeable, there's zero volume. You know, some of them have massive bid asks. So what I wanna do next is I want to add in two filters to help me weed out some of these nonsense stocks. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna add a filter for volume. So we can come to add filter and we can hit stock. So I hit stock and then on the stock, I will scroll down to the volume. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that the volume is at least over 300,000 shares traded. So I'll come into the min here and I will type in 300,000. And then I will hit scan again. And so now we actually have some good stocks here. These, these stocks are well traded, so there's good volume and we will be able to buy and sell. But some of these stocks aren't the best. If you look at some of them, some of these are penny stocks. This one's bid and ask are 0 0.0001. Some of them have zero market cap. So we don't wanna be trading any stocks like that. So the next filter that I want to add would be a minimum market cap. So we can come to stock here. I can scroll down to market cap in the millions. And let's say that it has to be above 2000 million. So now when we scan here, we can actually see some good household brand names, BYND, this is Beyond Meat, if you know that. We can look, keep looking down, AVGO, this is Broadcom. ALXN, Alexion. So now these are actually some big stocks that I like to trade and ones that I suggest you should be trading if you're going to be using the squeeze strategy. So with this scan in place, we can now actually come here and hit save scan query. So I'll name it squeeze swing watch list. I'll hit save. And now this scan has been saved so we can reuse it in the future. But what's really nice about saving a scan is that we can also bring it up as a watch list. 
So if I come to the market watch tab here and I can scroll down to personal and bring up this squeeze swing watch list that I just made. Now we have it in watch list form. And what's nice about that is I can come over here, hit detach. Now it becomes its own screen. And let me move that to the side real quick. And if we come back to a chart here and I bring this watch list back down, then what I can do is I can set up the chart and the watch list to hook up together. So I'll come over here to this little paperclip icon and link this watch list to the red. So one red. Then what I'll do is I'll come back to this chart and I can do the same. I can link this chart to red. And so what that lets me do is that anytime I click on a stock in this watch list, so let's say I click on ALRM, then it's going to immediately show up on my chart. And what's nice is I can use my up and down arrows to quickly go through a ton of these stocks and look at their charts and see if there is something that I want to trade. But if we look at some of these stocks, some of them don't fit our criteria. Some of them are way down here and the 8 EMA is trading below the 21 EMA. So this is not something I would want to buy. So this is actually something that we can add to our scan. So let's move the watch list over to the side here and I'll bring back the scan tab. So what we wanted in our strategy is we wanted the 8 EMA to be above the 21 EMA and only if that's the reason why we would buy. So what we can do is we can actually add that as a filter. So let's come over to add filter, hit study, and then I will come down to custom. This one's going to be a little complicated. So we'll come back into the edit tab here. And what we want to do is we want to find the moving average exponential. So come down to study, scroll down to moving average exponential. And then I want to set this to the 8 EMA. So now I have the 8 EMA on this left side and I want it to be greater than, uh, hopefully you can guess this, greater than the moving average exponential of the 21. So doing the same thing here, scrolling down to find the study and setting this to 21. So now if we look at this, we have moving average exponential 8 is greater than moving average exponential 21. So I'll hit save here it'll show up in our condition wizard right now, and then we can hit OK and add it to our scan. So now when we scan again, it's gonna show us those same stocks, but the ones that have the eight above the 21. So let's save this scan here. Save scan query, overwrite. And then we can bring our chart back up and bring our watch list over. So now watch, when we go through these ones, the eight and the 21 are always gonna be in the right place. So that's a very helpful thing that you can add to the scan. And if you remember my strategy video, there's also one more thing I talk about, which is being near the all time highs. And we can actually do that. So let's go back to the scan and let's add one more filter. So we'll add a filter here, and this one is going to be a fundamental. So we'll hit fundamental here and scroll down. Actually, sorry, it's not fundamental. It is going to be on the stock. No, it's not on the stock either. <laughs> Who am I kidding? It is on the study. And I'm going to look for price performance, and I'm going to come down to near high lows. So now we can see if it's near the high and low. So this is telling us I want it to be within 3% of the high that was made in the last 252 days. So what I could do is I could set this to something larger, like 252 months, and that basically is all-time highs. And then I can say, you know, maybe we want it to be trading within 10% of that. So let's hit 10%, and then I can hit scan again and the scanner should show us stocks that are within the 10% high of the month. 
but it looks like that's not working. Maybe we can set it to week. Okay, like we can try and set it to day then. So we can set it to day here. This is weird, it's not working. Okay, so we can hit the day here and we can hit scan. And now we are finding stocks that are within the 252 day high. So that's basically the high of the past year. It's not the same as all time high, but this is still something that can work in our favor. So we can come back and save this as a scan query. So resave it. Every, every time that we make changes to it, we need to resave it. So I'll hit save here. And then we can come back to the chart. And now this watch list is a lot smaller, but all of these stocks in this watch list match our criteria for a perfect chart trade. So we can even come down to AVGO here, which is Broadcom. And we can see that it is currently in a squeeze. The eight is above the 21, though barely, and prices look like they're dropping below the 21. So in this case, this actually isn't a good setup. It looks like it's about to turn on us. So let me scroll through these and find a setup that you know we could actually take. Actually, this one looks pretty good here. So if I clean up the charts, we can see that the eight is above the 21. Prices are above the 21 EMA, and we have a squeeze and we are near the all-time highs. So when you use this watch list, let me bring it up one more time. Remember that we can link this watch list to our chart with the symbol link, and then we can easily scroll through this. And this is what I actually do in the mornings. I do this scan, and then I just run through these. It probably takes me about one to two minutes, and I find all of the stocks that I would like to trade. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys have learned how to build a squeeze swing watch list on Thinkorswim. But remember, this is a basic template. If there's other criteria that you see fit in a stock before you buy it, you can always build on top of this one and add it to the scan. I've also shared this scan and put a link below in the description so you can import it into your own Thinkorswim platform. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me or comment below and I'll be happy to answer. All right, guys, happy trading and see you at the next video.